In mathematics, a bilinear form on a vector space V is a bilinear map V times VK, where K is the field of scalars. In other words, a bilinear form is a function B, V times VK that is linear in each argument separately. B U plus V W Topic B U W plus B V W and B Lambda U V Lambda B U V B U V plus W Topic B U V plus B U W and B U Lambda V Lambda B U V. The definition of a bilinear form can be extended to include modules over a ring, with linear maps replaced by module homomorphisms. When K is the field of complex numbers C, one is often more interested in sesquilinear forms, which are similar to bilinear forms but are conjugate linear in one argument. Topic: <laughs> Coordinate representation. Let V knots be an n-dimensional vector space with basis E1 n. Define the n times n matrix A by Aij equals B A, e j. If the n times 1 matrix X represents a vector V with respect to this basis, and analogously, Y represents W, then B V W equals X T A Y equals I J equals one N X I A I J Y J Display style B Math BF V Math BF W equals Math BF X carrot mathram T A Math BF Y equals some underscore I J equals one carrot N X underscore I A underscore I J Y underscore J Suppose F1 Fn is another basis for V, such that F1 Fn equals E1 N square S element of GL N K. Now the new matrix representation for the bilinear form is given by stars. Topic: <laughs> Maps to the dual space. Every bilinear form B on V defines a pair of linear maps from V to its dual space V. Define B1, B2, V V by B1 V W equals B V W B2 V W equals B W V. This is often denoted as B1 V equals B V B2 V equals B V, where the dot indicates the slot into which the argument for the resulting linear functional is to be placed. See currying. For a finite dimensional vector space V, if either of B1 or B2 is an isomorphism, then both are, and the bilinear form B is said to be nondegenerate. More concretely, for a finite dimensional vector space, nondegenerate means that every non-zero element pairs non-trivially with some other element B X Y equals zero. Display style B X Y equals zero. For all Y element of v display style y in v implies that x equals 0 and b x y equals 0 display style b x y equals 0 for all x element of v display style x in v implies that y Equals zero. The corresponding notion for a module over a commutative ring is that a bilinear form is unimodular if V V is an isomorphism. Given a finitely generated module over a commutative ring, the pairing may be injective, hence non-degenerate in the above sense, but not unimodular. For example, over the integers, the pairing B X Y equals two X Y is non-degenerate but not unimodular, as the induced map from V. Topic Z to V. Z is multiplication by 2. If V is finite dimensional then one can identify V with its double dual V. 
one can then show that B2 is the transpose of the linear map B1 if V is infinite dimensional then B2 is the transpose of B1 restricted to the image of V in V. Given B1 can define the transpose of B to be the bilinear form given by T B V W equals B W V. The left radical and right radical of the form B are the kernels of B1 and B2 respectively. They are the vectors orthogonal to the whole space on the left and on the right. If V is finite dimensional then the rank of B1 is equal to the rank of B2. If this number is equal to dim V then B1 and B2 are linear isomorphisms from V to V. In this case B is nondegenerate. By the rank nullity theorem, this is equivalent to the condition that the left and equivalently right radicals be trivial. For finite dimensional spaces, this is often taken as the definition of nondegeneracy. Definition: B is nondegenerate if B v w. Topic: <laughs> Zero for all w implies v. Zero. Given any linear map A, V V1 can obtain a bilinear form B on V via B V W equals A V W. This form will be nondegenerate if and only if A is an isomorphism. If V is finite dimensional then, relative to some basis for V, A bilinear form is degenerate if and only if the determinant of the associated matrix is zero. Likewise, a nondegenerate form is one for which the determinant of the associated matrix is non-zero, the matrix is non-singular. These statements are independent of the chosen basis. For a module over a commutative ring, a unimodular form is one for which the determinant of the associate matrix is a unit, for example 1, hence the term. Note that a form whose matrix is non-zero but not a unit will be nondegenerate but not unimodular, for example b x, y equals 2 x, y over the integers. Equals <laughs> Topic. Symmetric, skew-symmetric and alternating forms Equals. We define a bilinear form to be symmetric if B v w equals B w v for all v w in V. Alternating if B v v equals zero for all v in V. Skew symmetric if B v w equals minus B w v for all v w in V. Proposition: Every alternating form is skew symmetric. Proof: This can be seen by expanding B v plus W v plus W. If the characteristic of K is not two, then the converse is also true. Every skew symmetric form is alternating. If, however, char K equals two, then a skew symmetric form is the same as a symmetric form, and there exist symmetric skew symmetric forms that are not alternating. A bilinear form is symmetric resp skew symmetric if and only if its coordinate matrix relative to any basis is symmetric resp skew symmetric. A bilinear form is alternating if and only if its coordinate matrix is skew symmetric and the diagonal entries are all zero, which follows from skew symmetry when char k does not equal two. A bilinear form is symmetric if and only if the maps b1, b2, v v are equal, and skew symmetric if and only if they are negatives of one another. If char k does not equal two, then one can decompose a bilinear form into a symmetric and a skew symmetric part as follows: b plus equals 1 2 b plus t b b minus equals 1 2 b minus t b Display style b caret plus equals tfrac one two b plus caret text t b q quad b caret equals tfrac one two b caret text t b, where t b is the transpose of b defined above. Topic: Derived quadratic form. For any bilinear form B, V times VK, there exists an associated quadratic form Q, VK defined by Q, VK, VB, V, V. When char K does not equal 2, the quadratic form Q is determined by the symmetric part of the bilinear form B and is independent of the antisymmetric part. In this case there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the symmetric part of the bilinear form and the quadratic form, and it makes sense to speak of the symmetric bilinear form associated with a quadratic form. When char k equals 2 and dim v greater than 1, this correspondence between quadratic forms and symmetric bilinear forms breaks down. Equals. Topic: Reflexivity and orthogonality. Topic. 
Topic Definition: A bilinear form B V times V K is called reflexive if B V W zero implies B W V equals zero for all V W in V. Definition: Let B V times V K be a reflexive bilinear form. V W in V are orthogonal with respect to B if B V W equals zero. A bilinear form B is reflexive if and only if it is either symmetric or alternating. In the absence of reflexivity we have to distinguish left and right orthogonality. In a reflexive space the left and right radicals agree and are termed the kernel or the radical of the bilinear form, the subspace of all vectors orthogonal with every other vector. A vector V, with matrix representation X, is in the radical of a bilinear form with matrix representation A, if and only if X. Topic zero x t a zero. The radical is always a subspace of V. It is trivial if and only if the matrix A is non-singular, and thus if and only if the bilinear form is non-degenerate. Suppose W is a subspace. Define the orthogonal complement W equals V B V W equals Zero W element of W Display style W carrot perp equals Math BF V mid B Math BF V Math BF W equals zero for all Math BF W in W for a non degenerate form on a finite dimensional space, the map V W W is bijective, and the dimension of W is dim V minus dim W. Topic Different spaces Much of the theory is available for a bilinear mapping from two vector spaces over the same base field to that field. B, V times W K Here we still have induced linear mappings from V to W, and from W to V. It may happen that these mappings are isomorphisms, assuming finite dimensions. If one is an isomorphism, the other must be. When this occurs, B is said to be a perfect pairing. In finite dimensions, this is equivalent to the pairing being non-degenerate, the spaces necessarily having the same dimensions. For modules instead of vector spaces, just as how a non-degenerate form is weaker than an unimodular form, a non-degenerate pairing is a weaker notion than a perfect pairing. A pairing can be non-degenerate without being a perfect pairing, for instance z times z z via x, y, 2xy is non-degenerate, but induces multiplication by 2 on the map z z. Terminology varies in coverage of bilinear forms. For example, F. Reese Harvey discusses eight types of inner product. To define them, he uses diagonal matrices Aij having only plus one or minus one for non-zero elements. Some of the inner products are symplectic forms, and some are sesquilinear forms or Hermitian forms. Rather than a general field K, the instances with real numbers R, complex numbers C, and quaternions H are spelled out. The bilinear form K equals one. P X K Y K minus K equals P plus one N X K Y K Display style sum underscore k equals one carrot p x underscore k y underscore k sum underscore k equals p plus one carrot n x underscore k y underscore k is called the real symmetric case and labeled R p q where p plus q equals n. Then he articulates the connection to traditional terminology. Some of the real symmetric cases are very important. The positive definite case R n zero is called Euclidean space, while the case of a single minus R n minus one one is called Lorentzian space. If n equals four, then Lorentzian space is also called Minkowski space or Minkowski spacetime. The special case R p p will be referred to as the split case. Equals. <laughs> Topic: Relation to tensor products. Equals by the universal property of the tensor product, bilinear forms on V are in one-to-one -one correspondence with linear maps V V K. If B is a bilinear form on V, a corresponding linear map is given by 
VWB v w note that this correspondence is by no means unique nor canonical, though. The set of all linear maps VVK is the dual space of VV, so bilinear forms may be thought of as elements of VV VV likewise, symmetric bilinear forms may be thought of as elements of SIM2 V the second symmetric power of V, and alternating bilinear forms as elements of lambda 2 volts the second exterior power of V. Topic. On normed vector spaces Definition: A bilinear form on a normed vector space v is bounded if there is a constant c such that for all u, v element of v, b, u, v, c, u, v. Display style b math bf u math bf v leq c left math bf u right left math bf v right. Definition: A bilinear form on a normed vector space v is elliptic or coercive if there is a constant c greater than zero such that for all u in v, b, u, u, c, u, two. Display style b math bf u math bf u geq c left math bf u right caret two. Topic. Generalization to modules Given a ring R and a right R module M and its dual module M, a mapping B, M times M R is called a bilinear form if B U plus V, X equals B U, X plus B, V, X B U, X plus Y equals B U, X plus B U, Y B alpha U, X beta equals alpha B U, X beta for all U, V element of M, X, Y element of M, alpha, beta element of R. The mapping, M times M R, U, X, U, X is known as the natural pairing, also called the canonical bilinear form on M times M. A linear map S, M, M, U, S, U induces the bilinear form B, M times M R, U, X, S, U, X, and a linear map T, M, M, X, T, X induces the bilinear form B, M times M R, U, X, U, T, X. Conversely, a bilinear form B, M times M R induces the R linear maps S, M M, U, X B, U, X, and T, M M, X, U B, U, X. Here, M denotes the double dual of M. See also Bilinear map Bilinear operator Inner product space Linear form Multilinear form Quadratic form Sesquilinear form Polar space Citations <laughs>